What is an error correction model, ECM? Have you ever wondered how economists predict changes in the economy after unexpected events? One of the tools they use is called an error correction model. This model helps us understand how quickly a dependent variable, like consumption, returns to its long-term balance after changes in other factors. So, what exactly is an error correction model? It is a statistical method used in econometrics and time series analysis. It is particularly useful for analyzing non-stationary data. Non-stationary data are those whose statistical properties, such as mean and variance, change over time. The foundation of an error correction model is cointegration. Cointegration refers to a long-term equilibrium relationship between two or more non-stationary time series. For example, consider consumption and income. Both may grow over time, but not in perfect harmony. However, their long-term relationship can remain just stable, which is where cointegration comes into play. An important part of the error correction model is the error correction term. This term measures how for the current state is from the long-term equilibrium. If consumption is lower than expected based on income, the error correction term predicts that consumption will increase to return to that equilibrium. The model also captures short-term dynamics. This means it accounts for fluctuations and adjustments that happen in the short run. These short-term changes are included in the model through the independent variables. When it comes to estimating error correction models, there are several methods available. One common approach is the Engel and Granger two-step method. This involves first estimating the cointegration relationship using a regression in levels. Then, this relationship is used in a model that considers short-term dynamics. Another method is the Johansson approach, which allows four multiple cointegrating relationships and is more flexible, especially when dealing with several variables. Error correction models have practical applications in various fields. In economic analysis, they help study relationships between key variables like gross domestic product, inflation, and interest rates. This is essential for understanding short-term fluctuations versus long-term trends, which is vital for effective policymaking. In finance, these models can analyze the relationship between stock prices and economic indicators. This helps investors understand how markets may adjust over time. Businesses can also benefit from error correction models. By understanding how variables adjust to their equilibrium levels, they can make more accurate forecasts about future trends and adapt their strategies accordingly. In summary, error correction models are a powerful tool in econometrics. They help measure and analyze data to understand both short-term dynamics and long-term relationships between variables. This understanding is especially important for making informed decisions in economics and finance.